P-O-R-T-E-R Life. This is my cucumber update. It is now three and a half weeks. Um, and this is my cucumber plant is looking like right now. So as you can see, I do have a lot of new growth coming out from the bottom. Right there. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for the stems, my stems are seeming to be really white. So if you have any suggestions for that, definitely help me out. Um, same problem I have here going on is the leaves feel really dry, but the soil is very wet. I have my whole system on there, but um, I'm trying to figure it out, like I said, but I do like this one. I like how it's intertwining. Um, the branches, I'm sorry, the stems are coming out. You can see a lot of new growth right there. I went ahead and pruned this one up and took off some of the ones that were dying. And that's what generated a lot of this new growth, I think. Um, so you can see it right there. There's a new leaf down there. And then all right here, this is growing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a wire and tie that so that it can grow upwards and onwards. But yeah, it's looking okay. Three and a half weeks. I've got a lot of spots. Um, a lot of this white like bleaching, and I've been doing a lot of research on that, trying to figure that out. So leave some comments for that one. And then the holes are from, of course, the insects that are just killing it. So I need to make some pesticides, insecticide. All right, so this is my tomato plant update. Um, I got my bush guide, the live tomatoes. They've been growing for about three and a half weeks now. And uh, yeah, they're looking very strong, looking very good. I um, noticed that the top ones seem like they're doing a little more livelier than the bottom. Um, I went ahead and had a shoot extra leg going off right there, so I pruned that. There was one small one going off right there. Went ahead and pruned. And um, yeah, since I did that, it started to do a lot more. But if you guys have any remedies, a lot of my smaller ones, leaves and the branches are curling like under, way under. Uh, like that one is and the same thing with this guy so I'm not sure if it's supposed to do like that it seems like it's relying a lot I mean maybe because I got the trellis there um, but you give me some suggestions on that um, the top looks really good so I went ahead and pruned that and then I had some flowers going I had a lot and um, I actually pruned off the flowers today uh, just because I mean I do want to give more energy and more focus to you know the main plant growing um this should produce around august so i'm looking forward to just getting this as big as it can and then getting some huge tomatoes around august uh, so that's exciting but yes this is looking good um i did have a lot of problems with the pest, but it looks like it seems like the insects don't like the tomato plant as much as they do my others. So um, they kind of stay away from this one. So I think that obviously helps it out grow a little bit bigger and gets it more formative. All right, YouTube family, I want to give you guys an update on my Kentucky beans and my sweet peas. So these are about, I want to say, two weeks, two weeks in. As you can see, the Kentucky beans are doing amazing. Um, everything is green. Everything looks lush, vibrant, growing up. And then same with the sweet peas. So, um, you know, in my last video, I put the trellises up so that they can trellis up. I'm sorry, the bamboo poles. So I'm just looking forward for them to start climbing. But, I mean, other than that, these are looking great. These are how high the poles go up. So I do want them to kind of climb up and do as much as they can. But um, this looks amazing. Yeah, I'm excited for this to harvest. I love sweet peas. Um, I like to eat them with, you know, salad just by themselves. It's great. And then, of course, the Kentucky beans. 
I make chili with that or rice and beans. So, um, yeah, I'll give you guys an update on how they're doing, but right now they're looking very good. All right. Hey, YouTube, wanted to give you an update on my corn. So this is what the corn looks like. This corn is two weeks in. Um, I just planted it in a row, and I love it. I actually plant them right next to my beans and peas. That way when they grow up the stalks, the um, beans can climb up that with it. So they're looking very good, very lively. Um, I have about, I don't even know how many I have to count, but this is sweet corn. I love sweet corn. I eat that with just about anything. So um, I'm very excited for this to grow. Um, as you can see, I just have it on a watering system. I don't really do too much with these. And they just kind of do their own thing. It's alive. Yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated on the corn and let you know how it goes. Hey YouTube, this was that grapevine that I purchased about, say a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. Um, so I went ahead and I think I showed you guys the video of how I prepared it. And then I did move the location. I'm having it go ahead and follow up that vine, or I'm sorry, that bamboo pole. Then it's going to go all the way down and it should vine up those very nicely so i'm excited for this one to start growing and getting very lively um i went ahead and did that mixture in that last video that i showed you and that's still doing great the eggshells and the banana and the coffee grounds ever since i put on there i mean it's definitely hyped up my plants and made them look way better so go check out my last video on that one i'll show you how to do that it's a very quick video. What's up, YouTube? It's a beautiful day out, so I wanted to give you guys an update on my strawberry plant. So these are Ozark strawberries. Um, I went ahead and so I had it planted in that location right there before. Um, the leaves were turning brown, a lot of the edges, it was just dying out. So I pretty much removed it from there, put it in its own um, pot, and then have it right under my drip system. So since I did that, uh, I mean, you can already tell it's made a big change. Um, this one right here, this was new. When I moved it, that wasn't there, and that one came out and uh, grew really nicely. This one right here, um, that one was there, but it wasn't doing too well. It was kind of wiggly, you know. Um, this one right here, that little one, obviously that's a new one shooting out. And then that one right there, that one just came probably about four or five days ago. Um, this long one right here, I'm thinking that's going to be a runner. That's what it looks like to me. Um, looks like it's going to run out. But we'll see. These are ones that were there before as well as this. And ever since I removed it from the other one, I moved it over. It's been doing really good, very well, as well as this one. Um... Those are doing beautiful. And then, so I had two crowns on this one. I, um, you know, I took the plant out. Originally, I had buried the crown fully. So then I tried to dig it up and put soil underneath it. That way I can get the crown back up. And that just wasn't working. Um, so you know what? I was like, this strawberry plant is dead. Let me just try to remove it and put it in its own pot. And if it grows, it grows. If not, I'm not really tripping. Um, so I went ahead and removed it, and as as I removed it, I, a lot of the roots, you know, ripped. Um, it was just bad. I didn't think it was going to survive, but I said, hey, I'm just going to try anyway. So this crown right here, this one was fully brown when I removed it. I mean, this one right here had a little, a little bit grown, um, but like I said, this one, there was nothing. It, it was brown. So I was like, oh yeah, that one's definitely dead. Well, at least I have one crown producing strawberries. And uh, look at that, it's starting to come back. So a lot of green coming from that crown. I'm thinking those are going to be new buds, new flowers, and new leaves. And um, I think a lot of it has to do with that um, little concoction blend that I made. Um, the eggshells, the um, 
banana peels and the coffee grounds i mean i put that on all my plants and i think it's helped out a lot on everything so if you haven't watched that video yet go ahead and check that one out that's going to help out all the plants for you guys um all right sounds good i'm sounding out look at that you guys i got bees in the garden warming around in my strawberries this is very exciting to see So I like that because that tells me, I mean, I don't know if you guys heard, but it did say the bees were going extinct. So this lets me know that they're not, for one, and then for two, my stuff can possibly get pollinated by the bees. So that's exciting. And Ozark is doing very well. I mean, as you can see, he flowered up and got new leaves. I'm sorry, not flowers, but just new plant life grew after I transplanted them and moved them into his own pot. So I got a couple of runners shooting out, one right here, and then there's a small one right there that's running out. But I mean, he's doing strong, looking very well healthy so hopefully if he's in this plant I can get some of my other plants to be fertilized because it does look like a lot of the flowers are dying off but I'm not too worried about it Alright you guys, 